So what I've got here is just your ordinary bottle of spring water. And this has been in the refrigerator for a while and it's cooled down. But the interesting thing about this water is, as you can see, it just looks like ordinary liquid water. Now, what would happen to this water in its cooled state if I was to disturb it? Let's say if I shake it. And there you go. In an instant, the water changes from liquid to a solid state. Now, why does this happen? Well, this is due to something called the supercooling effect. And supercooling is where a liquid is brought below its freezing temperature without changing into a frozen state, i.e. like the water here. The water was below its still freezing point of water, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but it was still in a liquid state. But since spring water has no impurities in it, it's not able to have crystallization, which is needed for freezing. Now, when I shook the water bottle, I introduced little air bubbles in it. And this air bubbles caused a disturbance in the water, which caused crystallization to occur. And because crystallization occurred, all the water in the bottle froze. So that is how supercooling works. Now, also, there's some interesting tricks you can do with supercooled water besides what I just shown here. If you poured the water out of a bottle onto a dish, for instance, it would freeze on contact with the dish. This is similar to what happens with freezing rain. Freezing rain is super cold water, but it falls in a liquid state when it hits the ground. It freezes. Another way is to put your finger in the bottle if you got dirt or something on it. The water will freeze around that. So again, this is the super cooling effect.